Thanks to everybody for being here today, and I want to thank everybody who came out today to make their donations for the for the food pantries in our in our uh, county. Um, you know, during the Great Recession, you know, I've been volunteering for a food pantry over 20 years, and our numbers would go from 150 to 250 families coming out for food twice a month. You know, now that this uh, COVID-19 has started, uh, our numbers have doubled. Uh, it's amazing how many people are in need of food, and I just want to thank everybody for putting this together, you know, to make sure that people have food to eat, um, you know, because this is a really bad time that we're going through. Uh, we can only hope that it ends soon and we could get back to some sort of normalcy and uh, get back people back to work because, uh, you know, it's very difficult out there. Yeah, I'm, I really like what everybody's doing. And this reminds me of, I thank everyone for coming out and everyone that participates. The reason why I don't call off names because I don't want to leave anybody out that does great work at all. And I, this is the thing because I was in the store yesterday and a woman, an older woman was in front of me and she didn't even have it. She didn't have enough money for her grocery, and she was like that. So you know, I, I I helped her out back and forth. But this is the kind of stuff that hurts my heart. It hurts my heart that when people don't have enough, that we're going through such hard times right now, and that I like the fact that everybody here is pitching in and doing the best that they can to help Edison. Thank you. Hello, ITV. Uh, thanks for showcasing this today and thanks to you all for coming out today you know it's a wonderful event that every single week uh, and not just every week uh, several times a week we come together and we participate in the food pantry just hearing the words of my fellow colleagues and what they said you know we can't take certain things for granted there's the reality is that this is a hard time for most of America right now and if you have the ability to contribute please know that you know we're available right here you can contribute and don't take anything for granted. It's it's this is this is part of the process of building a community, and that's what we're doing. We're showcasing that we are a community. We're helping each other out, and we're here for everyone that needs it. So thank you all for hosting this. Uh, thank you very much, and again, thank you to all the volunteers here today to uh, donate food and collect the food. This is a great community event, and on behalf of the Board of Education and our school community as a whole, which you also have helped out greatly, all of you here. We appreciate all the help our community is getting, and we really love the support that the community has come together uh, to work together to provide food for the needy. Thank you very much. I would like to thank everybody here, right from the county presentation, Board of Education, Township presentation, Nilesh Dasondi, our leader from United Rishab, and everybody here is coming together to help the community because this is getting worse day by day, and this pandemic has already caused 36 million people in America jobless. 36 million people have filed for the unemployment and it's not stopping. So this community at least is trying. I heard Joyce saying somebody didn't have money to buy grocery. So Charles Tamaro, our leader, has started this initiative. We are going to give all this to his association, Hands for Hope, and we have to be part of this community to serve the community when they need the most. So all these big officials said that this is a really need of the community. There are a lot of needy, poor, homeless people in our area, Middlesex County, and Charlie, Joyce Ship, and you know Sam Joshi, Pandya Foundation, Ralph. They are doing a great job. I have my team: Biral Patel, Paru Lamin, Raja Raman, Nakhil Malhotra. Everybody, Subu, doing a great job coming here, collecting the food, and giving it to all the. And we are in an unprecedented situation where this has not even occurred during the Spanish flu or the Great Depression, right? We are, we are in a very, very, very worse situation and a lot of things, bad things are happening because many people are going hungry, right? Or we only see what we are seeing, but we don't see what's happening behind. And yesterday when I was watching TV, I was in tears because, you know, people do things because they get hungry. As long as you take care of their food needs, I'm pretty sure, you know, we will have a peaceful, happy United States of America. God bless America. God bless Edison. Thank you. Anu, uh, I'm so glad to be here and donate some food and help if needed. Uh, I would encourage everyone to come and donate something. Each family donates at least one or two cans. It's a great help for the people who are in need. I'm glad to help here with our Edison Food Bank. And now maybe it's week uh, six or seven. Uh, and we're going to continue this thanks to our community efforts with Nilesh. Pand uh, and uh, Pandya Foundation, Raj, Dr. Raj Pandya. Uh, thank you for our whole uh, community for coming together and continuing these efforts. I see people every week uh, who can't put a meal on the table 
And this is the time to help. If someone doesn't have a mask, someone doesn't have a meal, just talk to your neighbors, talk to anyone. You know, when you go grocery shopping or getting something from the convenience store, uh, just speak to, speak out and help one another. This is the time to do it. This is going to be an ongoing effort. Cool. Thank you, Raja Bhatti. Thank you, Dr. Sudhir Parikh, you know, for covering this event. And we have been doing this from last uh, three weeks. Uh, this is our third week, and we are going to continue for a few more weeks till the need is there for the community. And uh, please come and donate the food. Please spread the word. And, uh, you know, Charlie can uh, collect all the food. Thank you.